Hey friends, got a hot new beta for you to opt yourselves into. Check this out. Here I am on the contact record, but you can do this for literally any object inside of HubSpot that has a record like this. Um, you have this new overview tab over here. So this is, this is the activities tab. This is the timeline you're custom seeing and you can still filter it just like you always have. But the overview tab has cards on it like this and, uh, and you can customize, well, so if you have free or starter, you can you can see this, you can use this tab. If you have pro or above, you can customize what's on here. So let's let's go to this customize overview tab here. And um, this is, we can choose what, uh, let me just show you where we are real quick. We're on the record customization tag for contacts. Again, it works for all these different properties. Um, and we're gonna customize the overview tab here and you can do it by team if you're pro and above or maybe just enterprise i forget um but let's just edit the default view right we have kind of a lot of cards here and and the way i want you to think about this is you can now customize your right hand sidebar right to get that less cluttered and maybe you you know some of your your custom objects like vehicles and pets and cars down here maybe these you remove from that right hand sidebar and you put them here or vice versa right you want them in the right hand sidebar and you put some other things here um but we'll just you know we can remove some of these things to uh to make it a little tidier um and uh, we'll, we'll just keep the the data highlights and recent co communications but if you want to bring any of those things back they're here you can get them and so we'll save that so data highlights was the one that was on top and i don't know if you noticed it the reason I didn't call it out too much is I want you to know you can customize that too, pro and above friends. So if we customize this, again, you can do it by team, um, but if we just edit the default view, here's what we have right now. We have create date and life cycle stage and last activity date. We can add other properties here. Whatever it is you think would be most important to have in this data highlight phase, uh, you can have just kind of a collection of properties here, super fun. Um, and then the uh, association tables, right? So like we saw we could put custom objects and deals and, and, and things here. Um, again, we can edit this view and we can choose what information is going to appear on that table because it's a table not just a card and and you will see a list of all of them and, and you can add more columns uh really you know whatever you want if you have a a, a a contact table this is this is how it'll look so uh now you know let's go back just one more time to uh, a contact and see how this is looking um and i don't actually remember if i saved anything i just did but here we are on the overview tab yeah so we can see the recent communications here that's great and and we can see uh, the, the, the data we decided to highlight here. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. Whatever data you think is most important for your teams, you can now choose if it's on that right-hand sidebar, some of your properties in your left-hand sidebar, pull them into that data overview in that overview tab. I just think this is so much fun. So it's another beta for you to opt yourself into. Use the product updates tab and go to betas and, and opt yourself in. Play around with it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions.